Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the difference between, differences between scalar and vector, and between the less recognized pseudo vector and pseudo scalar. Scalar, first of all, perfectly ordinary number, say like x. That includes things like number of eggs in the fridge, um, number of elephants in your living room, number of uh, temperature outside, number of birds in the sky. Those are all scalars. Vectors, on the other hand, are something that can be represented. See, a scalar would be like a point, it's a magnitude. A vector is a arrow. Yes, mathematically, we want to write it as like an x, y, z, where this can be anything. You know, if they're just anything, it's not really very, it's not, it's not meaningful. Um, however, when they are coordinates, it, it is quite meaningful when their velocity is quite meaningful. Uh, in any case, if you can represent it meaningfully as an arrow, then it's a vector. Okay, but we have something that masquerades as a vector, but it is not. It is called the pseudo vector, or a better term would be a bivector. And instead of being an arrow, it's mathematically better represented as, okay, so two arrows right there will make a kind of a square and give it a turning shape. It's a surface, which we can think of as kind of a pointy surface, like points up. But in any case, it is, now how, how can you tell what, what, which is a vector? What's a pseudo vector? Do they act different? Well, you can add vectors to vectors and pseudo vectors to pseudo vectors, but you can't add them to each other because they act different. If you have a mirror, I'm going to draw a little mirror right here, and you have a vector, you look in the mirror, you're going to see a vector. But pseudo vectors are like vampires or something. You look a pseudo vector, look in the mirror, and it points the opposite direction. Pseudo vectors are related to rotation. Rotational things have a lot to do with pseudo vectors. So you see, look, if I put a little rotation on here, so we got the right hand rule, points up. Oh, but in the mirror, it's pointing the other way. Because the rotation is, I think the ro rotation has to match, so that means it's pointing down. Okay, so whereas a vector would include things like, say, an electric field, magnitude and direction, um, uh, water velocity, or stress, I mean, the way water flows, wind velocity, velocity, um, all these things are vectors. They are magnitude and direction. Pseudo vector tends to be things, like I said, regarding rotation. So we have things such as angular momentum, torque, rotations, um, rotational velocity. Um, Although I suppose if we took the magnitude of those, we could argue they're pseudoscalers. Pseudoscalers act similarly to this also. Uh, you put them in a mirror, they're going to have, here we'll put a little, here, we'll have a positive magnitude and a positive pseudo, pseudo vector. We put it in a mirror positive scalar, but you have a negative pseudo vector, a pseudo scalar. Um, this would include things like, I said, for instance, I said um, uh, amount of rotation or rotational velocity. Um, magnetic charge, if it exists, would be a pseudo scalar. There, it's a little less known and a little less used but you will come across it and it's important to know. Um, we can write this in terms of a, well, for instance, you could write a, uh, make a, like a term, a cube, a volume. So we would have something like uh, vector crossed vector dot with another vector, 
A, B, C. And but although we don't typically think of volume as being negative, in this case, this, this mathematical construction anyway, would give us a negative amount under rotations, under reflections, sorry. Okay, we can also think of this, I mentioned this as a bivector, think of this a, a scalar as a rank zero quantity, vector as a rank one quantity, Pseudo vector is rank two. Pseudo scalar is rank three. If you do this in terms of, of a geometric algebra such as Cl Clifford algebra, which I dearly love, then and you had a, a larger vector space, you could continue up, and the pseudo scalar would be the, the highest ranked the highest possible rank. I'm sticking with three dimensions because, you know, nine times out of ten, unless you're doing string theory, that's what's useful. Or relativity, that's four. But. Okay, so I mentioned we can't add vectors and, vectors and pseudovectors. You can't add scalars and pseudoscalars. In terms of vectors anyway, a vector cross a vector is a pseudovector. The curl of a vector is a pseudovector. The product of a pseudovector and a pseudovector is a pseudovector. Whereas a uh, pseudovector crossed with a vector, or a vector crossed with a pseudovector, are both ordinary vectors. These um, quantities are important to keep in mind because it is a quick way of telling whether a, a, an equation works. Because like I said, uh, you can't add these and these or these and these. It simply doesn't work. So understanding a bit of vector, vector uh, properties can be an important tool in your mathematical tool set.